forming equations and solving them. Usually with a forming equation question it's to do with angles quite often and fairly often it's to do with things like parallel lines. Here we have a pair of parallel lines and some lines that cross. Now if we can work out what this angle here is, we'd have the angles on a straight line up to 180. Or if we could work out what this angle is, we could add the angles in a triangle up to 180. So we're going to use the rules of parallel lines to figure out the missing angle. I think you probably could guess what's going to be the missing one in each one, but to be sure we'll just work it out using the rules of parallel lines. So if we have a Z shape on parallel lines, a very um, common popular idea here is that this these two angles are the same because they alternate from one side of the line that crosses the parallel lines to the other and those alternating angles are the same. The other one we can use is the F shape which if I draw the F there it's a bit upside down and back to front but if you spun that around it look a bit like an F um, that's the corresponding angle rule and that one tells us that this angle and this angle are the same so we have x plus 10 in here now to form our equation we just need to take one of those rules um, either straight line or the, or the triangle to, to get our equation so we have x plus x plus 20 plus x plus 10 equals 180 and that gets you one mark straight off. You get another mark for simplifying x plus x plus x is 3x 20 plus 10 is 30 and then one for solving it to get 3x equals 150 if we take away the 30 from both sides divide by 3 we get 50 on both sides so there's three marks for that and this is a, a starred question which gives you an extra mark for setting your work out neatly. If you just wrote the answer you would only get three marks but if you set your working out clearly you get the method marks you get four marks for that question.